Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to take the backup of database by using SSIS. We all know when you when you want to take the any backup of your of your database in SQL Server Management Studio. Just uh, right click on the particular database and go to tasks and take the backup afterwards it is asking what type of backup it needs to take so you, you can take full different uh, differential and transaction lag and this is the location if you want to change the location and you can click add and go to select your location so this is the way you, you know to take the backup of your database in SQL Server Management Studio now I am showing the same exercise by using the SSIS. How to take the ba backup by using the SSIS? It is as simple as you see in, in SQL Server Management. It's somewhat better when compared to the SQL Server Management. <coughs> now there is one task is there. In the, whenever you open the package, backup database task is there. So if you drag into the control pane. And double click to configure so it is asking first connection it, it, it asks you to check the connection so you, you give your name a unique connection connection name i am saying my connection is the connection name and it, it is asking to select and enter the server name so i um, I know my server name is admin. I am taking the admin is my server name and click OK. So immediately it is um, all your databases were uh, configured into the data in this database in this backup database task. So if you click here, you find different da databases that are there in the SQL Server management here. Oh, Adventure works master model master model msdb these are all the system database sample all these things so if you check my databases in the same way you see here adventure works sample circle underscore the world cup sports ssi db see here sample circle was sports ssi b ssi s db and adventure works to 2019 so these are the system databases you know that's the master model 10.10 msdb here is a system database now i want to take the database for, for this sports uh, database so if you click the, the database you want uh, in checkbox and click ok so it is asking to take, take the backup in in disk or something else you want no i want to take that backup of in this next you go to destination here there are the this is the default location c program files and all these things if you want to change the location to download the database backup you have to click your location and select suppose i want to Take my backup to D drive in the backup folder. Backup is there. Backup folder. Right now, in backup there are many files. No, no, I don't want to take in this folder. I am taking files. In files, you see, yeah, I want to download the backup in this folder. D drive files. You know, backup will will save with the extension as dot bak form. By the extension of dot bak, it will save in Notepad. So whenever I took the backup and I execute the package, one folder will automatically created with dot bak extension. So I am taking this file, D drive files, and click OK and okay now if you want to run the package <coughs> right now 
there is no BAK for extension file. See here, in the D drive files, I am going to run the package now. Yeah, package run successfully and check your folder. D drive files. See here, sports backup. An extension to BAK file is like, and it size is the backup file is saved in a notepad. Database name underscore backup underscore date date and time everything will be saved so this is the backup you need to take by using the backup database task so this is the this task allows you to specify the source of database destination files are tapes and overwrite options for a backup even though this task is existing as a tool toolbox of SSDT but it's very under underrated task and most of them uh, not used in this, uh, this task they, they, are, they directly take the backup from SSMS or by using the query but, um, but this is a very useful task when you take the ba backup of your database of, of your any particular <coughs> so it, it is taking time now uh, for the time being I am disabled this package uh, this task I want to show, I want to show um, in a different way also we can take the backup by by creating variables also here I am taking one variable I am mentioning this backup path backup path so here I am providing the backup of backup of this file I am deleting this source uh, backup and I am giving the I am taking this path and paste it in the value of the variable. I am creating one variable and, uh, and data type is string. Data type is string and paste the value and say, um, close it. Now you again drag this uh, backup database task double click to configure so uh, I already take the new connection uh, no need to give um, sub, any new connection here directly I am taking the database name here I want to take my database for uh, sports database or uh, soccer WC World Cup database I am clicking ok so this is the common access uh, I keep it as it is and go to destination we haven't changed any change here now I am taking properties of this, uh, this uh, task backup task and take the expressions you need to take the expressions and drag the <coughs> one property called destination out of folder path select this property and right and click on Eclipse and drag your backup path variable into expression evaluate here and click ok click ok yeah. okay. earlier at the time of we are directly selecting the path of your folder now I am creating one particular variable and um, taking it the um, backup path variable name and they gave the value of that path in the variable and write the expressions to drag the variable into ex expressions and evaluate so now I am writing the package I am, I am going to run the package so the, the path is same the D drive files earlier we already uh, uh, take one backup I already de deleted that now after running this package as per the given value in the variable it will create a backup file in that same path with BAK file extension yeah it is done now go and check your folder see here soccer world cup backup is it? and uh, this is BAK file 3188 KB. Notepad is generated just now after running the package. So, this is how you need to.
take your backup of your database by using SIS. This backup database task, which is help to take the backup of your SQL Server Management Studio, just by taking the connection, by taking the connection automatically, it will configure. It will take configured all your databases into into this task window and select the database which database you want. Click OK. Just and select the form path where you want to load your backup dot BAK file extension and run the package so that you, you will take the backup easily. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.